Hello, welcome to another session of Superimpose X tutorials. Today I'm going to show you a very simple editing technique using Superimpose X. Uh, this one doesn't need any layers or masking. We are just going to use a, a basic editing tool for this project. Okay, if you use a wide angle lens for taking a photo or if you use a, a phone camera like the camera on an iPhone you get certain kind of distortion around the edges of the photo and if you have a face of a person around the edges of the photo the distortion is more visible for example this was a photo taken with an iPhone camera as you can see the head of the guard is getting distorted it's kind of getting stretched towards the outside of the photo but the same distortion is not so visible for this tower on the left hand side because it's not a face and today's tutorial is about how to fix this distortion using superimpose x one easy way to do that is to use the perspective transform tool which is under editor to start transform and uh, fix the perspective here as you can see that uh, the distorted head is now uh, fixed but uh, it comes with a drawback that uh, you get this uh, empty area around the top right corner in this case and uh, then you need to use the crop tool to uh, crop out the useful part of the image uh, but today we are going to use a different tool uh, to achieve the same thing but we'll only touch the head not the entire image and to do that we'll use the warp tool that comes with uh, superimpose which can be found under editor distort warp and this is how we use the tool let's undo that and use the tool to drag the head a little bit towards the inside but as you can see it produces some empty area around the edges which we don't want and if we want to uh, restrict some portions of the image from getting distorted by this warp tool uh, we can do that using a kind of mask uh, on the photo basically we uh, paint the area that we don't want to get affected uh, let me show you the same first we need to press on this uh, mask button over here and now we need to paint the area that we want uh, that we want to avoid getting distorted and then press the little tick mark button above to accept the mask and now if we use the warp tool as you can see the edges are not getting dragged inside so it is almost perfect but the uh, face is getting a little squeezed we don't want that so let's mask the face as well including both the eyes so they don't get distorted when we use the warp tool and accept it now if we use the warp tool as you can see only the head portion where the hair is is uh, getting warped and the face is not getting affected and if we use that little compare button over there we can see the difference before and after and that looks nice let's accept it and let's do an undo and redo to see the before and after the warp operation so it's looking nice let's go and save it that's all for today hope you find it useful and thank you for watching